On Juneteenth, I had the opportunity to go to the celebration that was just across the street here. Some of you went. And when I walked in to set up the booth that I was staffing, I walked past the table and the same person, the same energy that had touched me, just like you have all identified somebody, that when you were in their presence, there was something powerful about it. You were better for it. And Dia Canty was the person who was at that table when I walked by. So I made my way back over to her. And I asked, what was she up to? And she shared that she's an author of children's books with a special message. And this morning, I want a Renaissance Unity welcome to India Canty. India? So when we connected, and I was like her, like you this morning with your wagon of supplies and books, I was coming in to set up and she, I stopped at the table and she said, I want to talk to you. And I said, I'll be right back. And for those of us who set up at shows and at events and community events, that person often doesn't ever come back. But I was coming back. You shared, in a few minutes we'll talk about the book that you are sharing with everybody today. But what I would love for you to share in this community is how did you move into becoming an author? There is no way that you just woke up one day and <laughs> embraced this idea. My hunch is that you had a powerful story that led to this gift. Absolutely. Let us know. So my journey as an author actually all started with my daughter, Olivia, who's six years old now. Um, when she was two, I was looking for books that were going, that she would be able to relate to, books that were interesting. And at the time she was delayed in speech. So all of the books that I was buying didn't have the representation that I was looking for or people. A lot of them were animals and just storylines that she wasn't able to relate to at the time. So I prayed and during my time of prayer, stories just started coming to me, one after another, after another, after another. And within a one month period, I, I wrote six children's books. So, yeah. And it was one of the most incredible experiences that I've ever had to be able to tap into a creativity that God has downloaded within me and just put it out on paper. And now, 2023, uh, when I published the book, Finally, everything is starting to come into manifestation. So, that's it. So, when we talked, I know when that download came, you embraced it and you ran right with it. Is that true? Or was there the resistance to it that, <laughs> right? Because it sounds so easy, right? I just prayed. The download came. And here's my book. Boom. But it wasn't that way. It wasn't that quick. So prayer had began in 2018. That's when I was praying for something that I could do for myself that will be mine. The download didn't happen until separation during 2020. And once I received the download, because it became so easy to me, I'm like, oh, this is easy. I just thought, well, Okay, this, it does, I didn't think it meant anything. Um, so I initially was thinking, well, maybe I can just sell it and make a couple thousand dollars, make some quick money. Like I can always write more stories later. And the more I prayed, the more I realized, wait a minute, I saw fruit trees and I was seeing things and I said, maybe this is supposed to be more fruitful than I expected. And within that, I said, maybe I should actually move forward with producing this book. And with that, I started learning everything I can learn about how to self-publish a children's book. So I didn't actually think it had any real meaning or real worth when I did it. I just thought it was fun. And then the more I seek God, the more I prayed, the more I realized that there was a purpose to it. Wow. 
So we have some recent published authors, so I'm not talking to you. Those of you who have your book, Rod Grimes, I'm not talking to you. But there's some authors in this room that haven't got the book yet. Raise your hand. Stand up. Stand up. So if you could talk to them right now, they have a book within them that they haven't, this hasn't happened. What's your advice to them to be able to have this experience? My advice would be is to get alone in a quiet space, spend some time with self and bring a pen and a notebook and just write, just express, just write and figure everything out as you move. I had no idea what I was doing. I'm publishing my second book and now that it's been two years, I kind of feel like, again, I don't know what I'm doing, but I never let it stop me. So just move. I was taking courses. I was looking things up way before I had the money to have anything illustrated. So that's how I move. I think it and then I do it. And then if I make a mistake, circle back around and just do it again. Reverend Glenn, you speak in your language. <laughs> Take action. So this is the magical shell. And there's a powerful story. It's Johnny, right? Yes. And I'm not going to give up the goods to the story because this is a great book. It's kind of like Christmas in July. You're going to have a table out there with this book. Yeah. But you talked about getting into writing and being moved by writing because Olivia. Olivia, can you raise your hand so everyone can see where you're at? Her and Minnie Mouse are here in the front row. <laughs> What did you learn as you got into this work because of Olivia, as this book flowed through you? You've got another book that's coming we'll talk about in a minute, but talk about how this book is transforming lives and reaching the audience that you're reaching. When I wrote all of my books, they were all written to inspire language. I needed something that was going to help progress language at the time. Obviously, that's not an issue anymore but that's why they were written. So my books are written to inspire outdoor play, literacy, self-confidence, and imagination. I think it's very important that we are still going, as children, we are still going outside and as adults, going outside, connecting with nature, being able to be self-aware who we are, having self-confidence. Literacy is really big right now based on what's going on with our kids and how much time they spend on their tablets and how much time they don't spend reading. So literacy is very big right now. Um, so as I wrote that, I wanted to write something that was going to be universal for everybody, for boys, for girls. It doesn't matter because it's a beach book. It's a beach book about a boy who just uses his imagination to play by himself and go outside and just have all the adventures he could ever ask for over and over and over again. It's going to be a series eventually. But um, the only thing he needs is him and something that he found with him to have all the adventures. So we love to invite your energy into this space. What you're bringing to the world is, it feels like she's at home, doesn't it? So what can we support you in? This group is a group of believers who believe in your best. So as you look ahead, in the months ahead, what is it that this group, when they think of India Canty, besides being an incredible author who's transforming lives, what can we see for you personally in these months ahead? What do you want the support in? What do you want us to see for you? What do we want to manifest? It's important for me just for people to not only receive the book, read the book, but to let other people know that I exist. So I'm doing everything pretty organically. I'm going to, you know, I like the, I like the connection. I know things can be done in bigger and faster ways online, but I like being able to influence individuals. And the best way that I can do that is by meeting you all, is by you all knowing who I am, letting people know what I do, letting them know about my book, and giving it to the children because it has become so many families' favorite book. And being able to receive the feedback from families, being able to see the photos of the children with the book, and letting, knowing that people are telling other people about me and gifting my book to them means everything. 
So we see that for you. We see that. You have another book that's going to be released yes. in, in September or this fall. What's the name of the book? I See God. So wouldn't it be fun to have her here to release that next book in the fall? So we see this for you. We believe in it. It was no mistake when that you and I cross paths and it's the truth for everybody who's here so as we support you see you being in the space of growth is important for us too because if we're rubbing shoulders with you we want to be around people who are growing it reminds us that we have a calling too just like Johnny's reminded to imagine and to lean in and to believe you've reminded all of us this morning that it's our job too so we love you, we bless you, and we'll see you after service too. So thank you, India.